as well for Lally Doyle as they leave the stalls. Sariska a little bit slow out of the gate as she was earlier in the season in the Fred Darling and uh, she trails in the early stages, early days though, and Barsheba leads the way to Roman Empress in second. In third is Tamarin, then uh, back to Dare Mi, who's getting a toe. The pace is more than generous early on. Sophia as far as second last, and lastly, the lot of odds on favourite Sariska held up at the back of the field in the maroon jacket worn by Jamie Spencer. So down the back straight in this Darley Yorkshire Oats, and up ahead, Barsheba by a couple of lengths to Roman Empress in second place. They're fairly tearing along at the moment. In third then is Tamarind. Uh, Sariska having gone off the 11-4 to four on favourite here as they continue on the far side of the course with about a mile left to travel. In fourth place is Dare Mi. Sariska is demoted Sophia as far to last place. And first to last at the moment will be a good 12, maybe 15 lengths as they pass the seven furlong marker. Barsheba by a bit more than a length to Roman Empress in second place. Roman Empress's stable companion Tamarind is third, then Dare Mi just ahead of Sariska, and finally Sophia as far as they swing left-handed now inside the final three-quarters of a mile. Sariska still held up under restraint from Jamie Spencer, who rode us so confidently over at the Curra last time out as she bids to complete this Oaks treble. Swinging left-handed, Barsheba leads the way. Roman Empress, Tamarind, Dare Mi, Sariska, and finally Sophia as far with a half mile left to travel down the home straight on the Navesmire and Barsheba is almost joined by Roman Empress out wide and under the whip now is Tamarin Dare Me travels well so too Sariska Sophia as far struggling a bit at the rear of the field well down the straight Barsheba and Roman Empress continue to cross swords here Dare Me coming with a challenge Sariska now shaken up towards the outside with a quarter mile left to travel Tamarin looks beaten at this stage then Sophia as far Inside the final two, Spencer's having to get pretty serious here with Sariska. Dare Me looms up on the outside of Roman Empress, far side Barsheba. Sariska's trying to get to Dare Me as they run inside the final furlong. Dare Me's very game. She always goes down fighting if she goes down at all. And Sariska's in trouble. It's Dare Me sticking on too well. Dare Me wins the Yorkshire Oaks. In second, Sariska could get by. Third, Roman Empress. And uh, away they go for the Darley Yorkshire Oaks of 2022 and a, a really outstanding renewal it is as well. Racing over a mile and a half here and the early pace coming from Magical Lagoon in the green jacket, Shane Foley sending her out into an early lead with on the outside then the light to, lighter green colours there is Le Petit Coco who moves up into second place just ahead there of Alpinista, the greys, they, one or two of them jump that path. Tuesday is sitting handily in fourth. Reclet on that one's outside. Poptronic and Lilac Road in the maroon and blue colours. Uh, brings up the rear about six lengths behind then as they go through the first three furlongs. They're moving down the far side towards the mile start here. A dispute for the lead between the two Irish fillies. On the inside there, Magical Lagoon. On the outside is Le Petit Coco. Magical Lagoon in the hands of Shane Foley. Billy Lee on the outside on... La Petit Coco, the pretty poly winner. Alpinista, the grey, Luke Morris tracking with Tuesday on that one's inside. Ryan Moore in the dark blue jacket. Olivier Pellier has Raclette in fifth place. Poptronic in the yellow is next for Sam James. And looking on still is Tom Marcond on board Lilac Road. The runners heading down now towards the halfway point of the contest over on the top left-hand corner of the track then here in the Darley Yorkshire Oaks. Beginning the long sweeping left-hand bend now, which brings them down the side of the course. If anything, well, you'd probably say Le Petit Coco has got on now by about a neck from Magical Lagoon in second. Alpinista waiting to pounce in third place as they straighten up for the judge. She's being tracked through then by Ryan Moore on Tuesday. Raclette's pink cap is next, just being squeezed along. Then on the inside, Poptronic. And as the pace lifts, they're all being squeezed along. Lilac Road trying to improve as well. So La Petit Coco is now setting out her stall and she goes for glory here in the Yorkshire Oaks. Leads, but Alpinista is up to the challenge on the outside in the hands of Luke Morris and draws alongside and just puts her grey head in front here as they bear on down towards the final quarter mile. Alpinista the leader, but La Petit Coco and Tuesday on the inside are battling really hard as they race up towards the final furlong. Alpinista having to pull out a bit more. The Oaks winner Tuesday drawing alongside her on the inside. 
There's only a neck between her. Alpanista's having to be very brave here, and she is. She's got all the courage in the world and goes on to win the Yorkshire Oats. Alpanista, Beach Tuesday, La Petite Coco. It was tight for fourth. Magical look. They are indeed all ready to go. Here they go, off and racing for the Dali Yorkshire Oaks of 2013. So where is the pace going to come from? Looks like it's going to be Jim Bolger's Sintalula and Kevin Manning who sets out in front here and leads already by a couple of lengths then from Venus to Milo in the dark blue jacket who races two lengths in hand of Emirates Queen, the Fugue racing in fourth place, a break of a couple of lengths then to Riposte, together there with Secret Jester on the rail, and Moment in Time is held up at the back of the field by Jim Crowley, and the pace looks a fairly generous one, Moment in Time must be a good ten lengths off the gallop, being set here by the tough Sinta Lula. She leads by about two and a half lengths then, Venus de Milo racing in second is a similar distance ahead of the yellow jacket then of Emirates Queen as they continue over on the far side of the Naysmeyer and approach the final mile. Then coming in fourth place is last year's runner-up, the Fugue, just two lengths in front of Secret Gesture, together with Riposte on the outside of her and still looking on at the back of the field is Moment in Time. Making their way now towards the last seven furlongs here, and the gap between first and last must be a good 12 to 15 lengths. Here. He's pressing on here, Kevin Manning, making it a proper stamina test on board Sintalula, who leads now by about four lengths to Venus de Milo. She, in turn, has got a gap of about uh, four, four and a half lengths in hand, then back to third. Then that's the yellow jacket of Emirates Queen, followed by the Fugue in the pink colours as they take the turn, which brings them down the side of the course. The Fugue in turn is two lengths in front of Secret Gesture and Riposte, and at the back of the field, stoked along now, is Moment in Time. They're straightening up for home here in the Dali Yorkshire Oaks, so they've got four and a half furlongs left to cover, and Sinta Lula showing no signs of stopping on a, in a really good rhythm here, but Venus de Milo is closing the gap down now to about to two lengths or so. Followed then by the Fugue who goes third. Then on the outside, Ripos starts to pick up pretty well too, and Sinta Lula is being passed now by a compatriot, Venus de Milo, who sets sail for home, but sitting comfortably in the slipstream, it seems, is the Fugue in the pink jacket for William Buick, so Venus de Milo passes the two furlongs marker the fugue now poised to challenge on the outside still on the bridle the fugue uh, surely at this stage you'll have to press the button soon it's venus de milo from the fugue who strikes the front now approaching the final furlong and scampers clear very quickly indeed and the fugue back to her very best second 12 months ago goes one better and wins the yorkshire oaks in brilliant fashion for john goss and william buick second is venus de milo then came secret gesture third set they're off, and Sariska has planted herself and has refused to leave the stalls. Ref Sariska has refused to jump out and has been left in the stalls. The other seven have come away to a pretty good line for the Darley Yorkshire Oaks, but no sign of Sariska coming out, and the rest have already gone. A furlong and a half drama as the stalls opened, and the front-running Bar Sheba with ears pricked is a couple of lens clear to Hibayeb, flying cloud with a white cap close up against the fence. Then midday tracking the leading trio, Snow Fairy towards the far side in the red and yellow jacket. Mies Nar is next and Eleonora Dews in the pale silks is last of the seven that consented to race, but Sariska, who went into the stalls okay, flatly refused to come out and the remaining seven meander their way across the Naysmire and down towards halfway in the Dali Yorkshire Oaks, led by the one-eyed mare Bar Sheba, tracked by Flying Cloud towards the far side, Frankie Dottori in the all blue aboard Hibayeb. Then a couple lengths to midday, pink cap for Tom Queeley, tracked by the dual Oaks winner, Snow Fairy. Mies Nark here and Fallon against the fence aboard the white-faced filly and Eleanor Adieu seeking to give Sir Michael Stout an unprecedented 10th Yorkshire Oaks. He's just last under Olivier Pellier as they move down now to the halfway point. Bar Sheba just upping the ante, strides a couple of lengths clear from Flying Cloud. Three lengths to Hibayeb who chases the leading pair. Working back to midday and Snow Fairy as they swing for home and Bar Sheba has set this race alight from some way out, passing the five. She's two lengths clear, chased by Flying Cloud. Hibayeb is bustled along in third, Bar Sheba uh, heading towards the near side with an advantage now of a little over four lengths from Flying Cloud. Away to the right, midday's improving stylishly. Hibayeb now rather more firmly driven along by Dottori. Snow Fairy, Red Sleeves is asked to close. Mies Nara and Eleonora Dews a little out pace down to the final three bar sheba being reeled back by midday who comes there absolutely cruising flying cloud ridden along snow fairy in behind caught in a pole
pocket, angling for a run. Queely takes a nonchalant look in behind as they pass the two. He asks midday to stretch. She quickens a couple lengths clear. Snow Fairy goes off in pursuit. Eleanor Adieu staying on from the rear with Miesner. Midday down towards the last furlong. Asked a length and she stretches away from Snow Fairy, who's surely chasing her shadow. She begins to drift off a true line midday. Has a bit of a wander around, but she's not for catching. And midday drawing away. It's a fourth group one. Midday wins the Dali Yorkshire Oaks for Colin Abdullah, Henry Cecil and uh, Tom Queeley, an eighth group one. Snow Fairy was second. Eleonora Duke. All four fillies all set and away they go for the Darley Yorkshire Oaks and Frankie was away to a flyer there on Enable very quickly into stride and she's going on by a length or two from her stable companion Lati Da. Then there's a couple of lengths maybe a touch more back to Magical who races in third place and South Sea Pearl whatever her role was meant to be it isn't the one of a pacemaker because she's last of the quartet now as they race over on the far side of the Knavesmire here and Enable is going to make this a proper test as she leads uh, Lati Dar by a couple of lengths going across towards and past the nine furlong start there. Magical racing just a length or, and a bit behind Lati Dar in third place for Ryan Moore. South Sea Pearl in the white cap for Shami Haffernan. Last of the quartet as the Darley Yorkshire Oaks field of 2019 make their way down then towards the final seven furlongs of the race and the nine time group one winner enable striding out in front from Lati Da who's unbeaten in two starts here at the Knavesmire racing in third then is magical enables old rival and then three lengths back to South Sea Pearl who's in fourth and last place going past the halfway point then past the six furlong marker and Frankie out in front here on board enable as they race down the side of the course Will Buick on Lati Dar racing in second place followed by Magical and Ryan Moore who's just a length behind her and then still looking on as they begin to turn into the home straight in South Sea Pearl so straightening up for the judge here now and it's enable who leads them in here going to the four furlong marker Lati Dar in the pink jacket Within about a length, Frankie just looking between his legs there to see what the others are doing. Magical's getting into contention on the inside, but this powerfully built mare enables striding on with purpose, and already Lati Dar is off the bit. Magical on the inside then is trying to get a little bit closer, but Frankie seems to think have things well under control here, approaching the final two furlongs. Now he's asking Enable to engage Top Gear to see off her old rival, Magical. Coming under a bit of a drive here, Enable, but she's responding as she always does inside the final furlong and a half. Enable holding Magical, who seems to have no more to give yet again. And once more, Enable will see off Magical and gain her 10th group one. 13 out of 14, the arc is next. Enable all the way winner of the Darley Yorkshire Oaks. Magical second, then Lati Dar and South Sea Pearl.